I want to show you guys how to do some classic um, growing models. So this is the logistic differential equation in the following form. So we have dp dt that's equal to uh, k, which is the constant proportionality, and then p, which is the population. And then we have to multiply 1 minus p over m. And m is the carrying capacity. And I'll also tell you p of 0 is equal to p0. It's just the initial population. So we'll come up with a general formula for you guys for the logistic curve. Here we go. This is so separable. k and m, they are just constants. So don't worry about that. So now here we go. I will bring this to the other side. So I will have 1 over p times 1 minus p over m like so, it was dp here, and then this is equal to k, and then dt. And remember, a constant is in, any constant is invited in, in any world, so that's good. Now, before I integrate this, I will clean things up, because this right here is a little complex fraction, so what I'll do is just multiply the top and bottom by m. Right? So if you distribute the m right here, right? so we actually get the following, capital M over p in the front, times m minus p, and then this is dp. You pretty much don't see any numbers anymore right here, right? The only number is 1, or maybe 0. Anyway, k is k, and then dt. Now, integrating both sides, here and here, and if you notice I haven't shown you guys any partial fractions. I know, but here it is. This is where we have to use the partial fractions. Notice, this is p to the first, and then this is also linear, right? m minus p to the first. So, I will actually just write this down again. We have to integrate. I will have to first get something over p plus something else over m minus p. And we have the dp right here. Let me still keep the integral k dt, like so. Now, we'll integrate, we'll do the partial fractions by the cover up. To figure this out, I will come back to the original, cover the same denominator, which is the p. And how can we make p equal to 0? p has to be 0. Then we put 0 in here for the remaining p. So we have m over m, which is just going to give us 1. So the number that we need is 1 right here. Now, to figure this out, I will go back to the original, cover the same denominator. How can I make m minus p equal to 0? p has to be what? p has to be m, right? So you have to put m in here, and you get m over m. Again, you have 1, which is very nice. So that's what we have, and now we can just go ahead and integrate this and that. The first part, we get ln absolute value of p, and then we are going to have this part, which is ln absolute value m minus p, but again, don't forget the loop chain, the backwards chain loop. Derivative of m minus p in the p world is negative 1. You have to divide it by negative 1. Divide it by negative 1 is the same as multiply by negative right there. So it becomes negative right there, right? And on the right-hand side, we have k t plus t. Seriously, you don't see any numbers right here. All right, so this is the idea. Now, I want to isolate the p. To do so, combine the natural logs, ln, and we will just put a p on the top over m minus p and that's equal to k t plus c, c1, right? Let's put on c1. Then I will just do e to this power, e to that power, they cancel, and then I'll have the absolute value of p over m minus p equals, this is just the function part, so keep it, but e to the c1 is just c2, right? Because remember, this is the same as saying, um, this is the same as saying, e to the c1 times e to the kt. Right? So this part is the same as that. So that's why this is the same as c2. Now, how can we get rid of the absolute value? I'll pick you out later. I will just get rid of the absolute value literally, but don't forget the plus minus. So we will have the following. p over m minus p equals C2 is a constant, minus C2 is also a constant, that's called out to be C3. So here we have C3, put on in blue, why not? And then KT, e to the KT power, like this. 
Now, to isolate the P, multiply this on both sides. So we have P equals C3 EKT times M minus P, like so. Of course, distribute that. P equals C3 EKT times M minus C3 EKT P, like that. Now, bring this to the other side. Then both of them have P, so I'll factor out P. This is 1. Bring this to the other side becomes positive C3, and then e to the kt, and then we have the p, put that at the end, and this is equal to C3 e kt, and then we have the m. m is not in the exponent. Okay? And finally, you can just divide both sides by this. So we have p equals all this, which is C3 e to the kt's power times m over this, which is 1 plus C3 e to the kt power, like that. So this is pretty much it, but usually we like to have just one e to the whatever part. To do so, we are going to multiply the top and bottom by, well, you can just do this. We are going to divide the top and bottom by this part, C3 e kt, C3 e kt, right? Divide both sides, the top and bottom by this. So finally, we'll see that P is equal to, the top is just M. That's nice, very nice. The bottom, this times that is just nice equal to 1, right? And this times this, I will write this down first. Uh, I will write it down like this. This right here is, this times that is just 1 over C3 E K T, and this times this is just plus 1, like that, yeah? Good. And of course, I will rewrite it a little bit. This right here, I have the m on the top over, I will put on the 1 first. And the reason I didn't do that earlier is because I don't want to confuse uh, stuff with the 1 and 1. Yeah, yeah this matter. Anyway, just worked out all the stuff, algebra stuff. Anyway, here, another thing I want to show you. C3 is a constant. 1 over C3 is another constant. So I just put out to be C4, like this. E to the kt in the bottom, I will write it as e to the negative kt, like that. So this is the general form for this. So the general solution is, let me write it down. Mm. Let me just write it down like this. P equals m over 1 plus. Finally, I'll just put this as the legitimate c, and then we have the e to the negative kt power. Like this, right? So this is the general solution. Now, how can we figure out the C? Well, here is our work. This is the T, and this is the P value, right? So on the left-hand side, I will have P0, that's equal to, and we have to plug in 0 into the T. So here we have the M. Let me just emphasize this in blue. This is equal to M on the top over 1 plus. C is C, and then e to the negative k times 0, like this. Now, this is good because this is just 1. So we have P0 equal to m over 1 plus C, and then I just have to get a C by itself. Let's do the reciprocal on both sides. So I get 1 plus C over m equals reciprocal, so it becomes 1 over P0. And then I will just multiply the m on both sides, so 1 plus C equals m over p0 minus 1, so c is equal to m over p0 minus 1, which I will just multiply this by p0 and p0, or p0 and p0, depends how you want to say it. Finally, c is equal to m minus p0 over p0, like this. So here is the general solution. Here is the answer. This is the general solution along with the C, which I will just include it right here for you guys. C is equal to M minus P naught over P zero. Usually, I don't like to put this back there because it gets too messy. Um, you can just work that out and then put that at the end. So, personal preference. Yeah. You can put, yeah, just, just work it out on your own, whichever way. Anyway, this right here is it. The just take differential equation. Perhaps I should write it down somewhere. I will write it down here. Uh, just take uh, differential equations.